on a tough day of scoring out at Southwood, freshman Matilda Castron proved once again she was the class of the field, shooting a second consecutive four under 68, and she leads the individual tournament while the Seminoles sit in a tie for second at the Florida State matchup. I mean, today was a phenomenal round of golf for her. Um, it was actually unbelievable how she got it going because a couple times she got to five under. Um, but just one of the, really for me, one of the best rounds of golf I've seen out of anybody in a long, long time, especially a college player. I had some good shots and I made many putts, so it wasn't that hard, but like there's still 18 holes to play, so I'm looking forward to that. My plan is to just stay in the present and think about one shot at a time and stay happy. Doing that was probably more emotional for me than winning a, t winning a tournament two weeks ago. So I was seven over through eight, uh, finished four under through my last 10 um, on the side of the golf course that I think plays more difficult for me. So I'm really proud of myself. You know, that was huge because she was six over after six holes. She had bogeyed her first six holes. So it took uh, her to get a, have a little gut check and she had a gut check and three under on the back is doing a phenomenal job today because the back nine was hard. It was tough for everyone. So this wasn't uh, as good as we hoped, but we're tied, tied second and we have the chances to win. So we're very happy. Toughest conditions I've seen in a long, a long time. The greens were quick. Um, there were some testy hole locations and um, you know, the, the greens just, just sped up with the wind. So I think overall the girls did a really good job and they've left themselves a, a great chance tomorrow. I mean, I, I think that the team all fought really hard um, and we're still in position and that's where we wanted to be. So on a tough day, that's all you can do. You can lose it, but you can't win it and we didn't lose it, so we're ready. The final round tees off bright and early Sunday morning and of course Seminoles.com will have highlights and post round reaction from right here at Southwood. That'll wrap up things for now. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.